What's up guys, my name is Logan and welcome back to another video. So as you can see I have the Sony SRS XB20 Extra Bass Speaker with me. Now I'm going to be doing a review on this speaker. I obviously can't do an unboxing because I've already got a box. So I actually have read over this box a few So there's that. So let's take a look at the hardware this speaker's rocking with. So this speaker has two 40 millimeter transducers, I believe, and a passive base radiator, which it fires at the front, out the front, and it also fires right out the back. So this speaker would perform better if you had it up against a wall. 
So you just put it up against the wall, the base is firing towards you, basically like that. Now, I re now this is a review, so let me show my thoughts. I really like this speaker, I do. Sony did a great job the first time designing and creating this, and I love it. Now, if you have this speaker already and say you say you want to up, upgrade to either the JBL XB20, not the JBL, that's a JBL, no. Sony, if you want to upgrade to the Sony XB21 or the Sony XB22. If you want to upgrade to the Sony XB21 for this speaker, I say go for it. If you want to upgrade to the 22 XB22, I also say go for it. But if you upgrade to the XB21, there's no reason to upgrade to the XB22. Because the XB22, just like this speaker, has a soft touch bo rubber body, which can get easily scratched and stuff. And it shows up fingerprints, which I don't really care about. But the thing with the XB21 is that it has it's covered in a fabric mesh, which makes it more durable, and it's IP. IPX67, I think, I, I do believe, which means it's what, which means it's waterproof and can be submerged up to a meter for 30 minutes. I say that with a little uncertainty. Don't quote me on any of this, okay? But yeah, basically there you go. But the XB22, if you already have the XB21, it's easier. To get, it's easier to scratch the body, but the a good thing is that the grill it has a fabric mesh on it, so it's more durable and it can withstand bumps and scrapes. One thing I do like about the Sony XB20 speaker is that it has this painted metal grill on it. It makes it feel more premium, look more expensive. I do like that. The thing with the XB22, the newest one they released earlier for summer of this year, they didn't upgrade it to USB-C, it's still micro USB, which I've grown to like the US, um, the micro USB connector, but also hate it, because it's flimsy and stuff like that, it's not a good connector at all. For a for a phone, it might be, but for a speaker, it's not really that good. Speaking of, I forgot to talk about this speaker's ports. So the ports right here, you see, that's a micro USB port. That's how you charge the speaker. All Sony speakers past this have that port. Also this, you have an auxiliary in port. So right here, it allows you to pl um, plug a device in so it's wired and not Bluetooth. So say you have a phone with music on it, it's not Bluetooth, you can just do that. The thing I like about the XB22 and XB21, they have... A th well, at least the XB22 does it. I think it has a USB port so you can charge your devices. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it does. But an annoying thing about the XB22, pull down the flap, there's like the add, tell, there's like the add button, the sp speaker phone button to tell you your battery life and all that behind that flap. So this, so this speaker, it's not all that durable. It can withstand some water. Obviously, I've taken this thing in the shower. I use it in the shower all the time. It's a good speaker. But I'd lean more towards the XB22 
you might say, you might say why sorry for that you might say why the XB22 well the XB21 is more durable with that fabric mesh co covering but the XB21 it's it sounds muffled and I don't like that so I'm actually getting the XB22 soon and when I get that I will make a video and show you guys I'll unbox review it and there you guys go so this is it so this is it for the video there it goes this was the review of the Sony SRS XB20 speaker so I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one